two orbital dragons, four rockets, and four launch pads at the same time. This is what SpaceX just demonstrated in only one day, January 9th. How did Elon Musk react to this? How does this shock the entire world? Let's find out in today's episode of Alpha Tech. SpaceX made a Hollywood movie on Monday. The space company flexes might with simultaneous Starship, Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and Dragon operations. Part of this, SpaceX CEO Elon Musk tweeted, all four orbital launch pads fully loaded with rockets for the first time. Amazing indeed. Now let's enjoy this movie. Firstly, in low Earth orbit around 400 kilometers or 250 miles up, a Cargo Dragon 2 spacecraft was freely flying in space shortly after undocking from the ISS. Simultaneously, a Crew Dragon spacecraft was docked to the ISS, where it will remain until it returns four astronauts to Earth in February 2023. Woohoo! Station copies! Nice work, Dragon Team in Houston! We appreciate it! exclaimed NASA astronaut Nicole Mann after being informed the spacecraft had left the ISS Keep Out Sphere after undocking Mann. A member of Crew 5 and Expedition 68 on board had closed the hatch on Dragon, which had arrived at the station back on November 27th, and supervised its departure that occurred just after 5 p.m. The SpaceX Dragon cargo ship undocked from the station at 5.05 p.m. Eastern and will return to Earth on Wednesday loaded with several tons of scientific cargo for analysis. NASA and SpaceX aim for a landing off of Florida's coast either in the Atlantic Ocean or the Gulf of Mexico targeting a 5.19 a.m. Wednesday morning splashdown. Dragon's bringing back about 4,400 pounds of supplies and experiments which will be transported after landing at Kennedy Space Center's Space Station Processing Facility. Meanwhile, in Texas, the company stacked Starship 24 atop the Super Heavy Booster 7 as SpaceX continues its efforts to prepare for what would be the first orbital flight for that massive rocket. Measuring around 120 meters tall from ship tip to booster tail, the fully stacked rocket is again the largest ever assembled. Compared to the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rocket SpaceX currently operates, Starship is far larger. It's also meant to be fully reusable, while the Falcon family, which expends its orbital upper stage, is roughly 80% reusable. If SpaceX can meet its technical goals, Starship could eventually cost around a magnitude less to launch than Falcon while carrying roughly 5 to 20 times more payload per launch. In short, it could revolutionize the cost of access to orbit. Combined with orbital refilling and the ability to transfer propellant between starships, reusable starships could also radically exceed Falcon 9 or even Falcon Heavy's expendable performance. But first, SpaceX needs to make sure that Starship can reach orbit at all. Replying this week on his Twitter account about speculation of when SpaceX expects to launch the mission, Elon Musk said, We have a real shot at late February. March launch attempt appears highly likely. SpaceX was also busy at its second Florida launch site, preparing Falcon Heavy at KSC's launch pad 39B. The heavy lift rocket that can produce 5.1 million pounds of thrust on liftoff left the hangar ahead of the USS F-67 mission for Space Force. A target launch date not confirmed yet by SpaceX, but the booster that landed at Canaveral's Landing Zone 1 on the OneWeb flight will have to be removed before the attempt, since SpaceX plans to use both Landing Zone 1 and 2 to recover two of the three boosters used on the Falcon Heavy. Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex had posted last week a viewing opportunity for that launch as early as Thursday, but that could be pushed. However, that show would be significantly magnified by Falcon Heavy's three boosters and twin boost-back burns, potentially making it one of the most visually spectacular launches ever. This particular Falcon Heavy, the fifth overall, is reusing both of the side boosters recovered from the rocket's fourth launch. Originally scheduled to launch in late 2020, Falcon Heavy Flight 4 finally lifted off from the NASA Kennedy Space Center's LC-39A pad on November 1, 2022. Thankfully, despite an unplanned 40-month hiatus between missions, the U.S. Space Force reported that Falcon Heavy's fourth launch was a simply outstanding success. The end of the workday culminated with the one web launch from Canaveral. SpaceX sent up its second Space Coast launch of the year on a mission to deliver more internet satellites for competitor OneWeb. To cap off a day, the company also had action in California, Texas, and the International Space Station. 
Not stopping, a Falcon 9 lifted off at 11.50 p.m. Monday from Cape Canaveral Space Force Station's Space Launch Complex 40. The first stage booster flying for the second time was recovered at Canaveral's Landing Zone 1, just south of the launch site. At Mark 201 successful launches with SpaceX knocking out 195 of 196 orbital attempts for Falcon 9 since the first launch on June 4, 2010. This launch was set up to be the second SpaceX launch of the day with a Starlink mission from California on tap to lift off less than an hour previously, but high winds forced that mission to delay for at least one day. That launch to send up 51 more Starlink satellites from Vandenberg Space Force Base's Space Launch Complex 4 East. To think the scientists at NASA for decades told us rockets couldn't be reused. Thanks, Elon Musk and SpaceX. For a moment, SpaceX simultaneously had four orbital-class rockets assembled and vertical at all four of its orbital launch pads and two reusable Dragon spacecraft operating in orbit. Only the entire Chinese launch industry, private and public, can hold a candle to the breadth and diversity of the launch vehicle and spacecraft operation of a single company. All the while, SpaceX was operating more than 3,300 Starlink satellites in orbit and serving internet to a million customers around the world. On the horizon, SpaceX has contracts with NASA to launch modified Dragon spacecraft to lunar orbit, land astronauts on the moon with a modified version of Starship, and send private astronauts around the moon on Starship. Starship's ultimate purpose is to enable the construction of a permanent, sustainable human presence on Mars. SpaceX has a long way to go to achieve those extraterrestrial goals, but a decade ago, even the company's most optimistic proponent could scarcely have dreamt that SpaceX would dominate almost every major segment of modern spaceflight. Satellites, rockets, private astronauts, space station cargo and crew by the early 2020s. Nor would they have expected that SpaceX would beat Boeing to its first astronaut launch or, or NASA would place its trust and billions of dollars in Starship beating out almost every other major traditional U.S. aerospace company to return humanity to the moon. Only time will tell where the company will be another decade from now, let alone later this year. Anyway, what a great start to 2023. And that just about wraps it up for today's episode. Don't forget, share your ideas in the comments section down below because your support motivates us to create more quality video. And for that, we thank you so much and hope to see you next time.